Hey everybody, David here with Cartoon Fortress. So happy to have you here on the channel with me today. If you're new here, I love talking film collecting and we do a lot of unboxings uh, videos on this channel. If that's something that interests you, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and join this great community of people that we have here on this channel. Now as far as today's video, we are going to be focusing on the most recent limited edition box set release from Indicator. It is no surprise if you do follow this channel how much I absolutely adore Indicator and their releases. So what is the set that we're looking at? It is Columbia Noir number one. This is just released and as you can see here we have a really gorgeous box set. Uh, we have a really sizable uh, booklet in here and then the films each in their own individual packaging. And then also, as you can see here, there is a plethora of supplements included here and just really great artwork overall. Um, so a really, really nice package here from Indicator. Now in terms of film noir, it's something that I love to collect. Um, and there's a few collections within my collection that uh, focus on uh, film noir. And I wanna highlight a couple of those if you're looking to start a film noir collection. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first up, we have from Mill Creek, we have the Noir Arc, <laughs> excuse me, the Noir Archive Collection. So here we have volume one, volume two, and finally volume three. So each of these house uh, nine films, and there's nothing in the way of extra features to talk about. But it's great to have so many films on a nice slim collection here. In fact, each of these are, uh, let's see, t uh, three discs. So you have a few films on each disc, which is great. I mean, the quality isn't going to suffer from having three films on a Blu-ray disc. Um, so this is the Noir Archive Collection from Mill Creek. And something I do want to note is that there will be... Uh, some duplicate titles between the Columbia Noir number one set and the Noir Archive uh, collection. There are some repeat titles there, um, but there's some things that really set this apart from uh, the Noir Archive collection. First off, there's films here that aren't in that collection, um, but also the packaging on this set is head and shoulders above the Noir Archive collection. We get the nice hardbound box, the included booklet, and then also just tons of extra features. So when you're talking in terms of uh, quality of these sets, uh, Indicator is second to none. Um, these are very, very high quality and really packed uh, releases. So that's something to note if you're trying to decide uh, what to purchase. I still think it's worth it to own both because there's a lot of films in the Noir Archive collection that are not in uh, the uh, Indicator set. Um, so the other collection that I want to highlight here is the Film Noir, The Dark Side of Cinema from uh, Kino Lorber. If you watched on the channel, I just recently uh, did a haul video which included, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which included the uh, these sets, which there's four of these currently released, and I did pick up all of those. And the first volume here has five films. Uh, two, three, and four each have three films included. Again, these are gonna be really soft on uh, any extra features or anything like that. So uh, it is mainly just the, the films that you're gonna be focusing on here. Um, but they have some attractive uh, cover art. Um, these aren't going to be the thick hardbound boxes, but still it's nice to have these in their own individual boxes. So the other area in my collection that I do have noir titles is uh, Criterion. Um, I don't have those right here to show, but there are um, a few really wonderful noir titles within Criterion. Um, so that's somewhere else to consider 
uh, picking up titles. But if you're looking to start a film noir collection, uh, these collections that I've highlighted here are a wonderful place to start. Um, but for today's video, we are of course going to focus on the Columbia Noir number one set. And let's go ahead and switch over to the other camera so that we can crack into the set and see what is on the inside. All right, so here is the Columbia Noir number one set from Indicator. Let's go ahead and take the shrink wrap off here and then we'll take a look at the set itself. I really love the yellow color that they used for this uh, for this first volume. It's very striking. I love the cover art as well, the image that they chose. So here we have uh, the set. So we have, of course, our belly band on here. There it is without the belly band. And taking a closer look, here are the included films. We have Escape in the Fog, The Undercover Man, Drive a Crooked Road, Five Against the House, The Garment Jungle, and finally, The Lineup. And there's the rating sticker. Here's the side with, uh, again, the name the names of the films. Here's some thumbnail images or uh, original posters for each of the films. And you can see here this set is limited to a print run of 6,000. I have number 607 here. And well, you also have a little uh, text here on the side. And uh, it says, movies that throw acid right back in the gangsters' faces. <laughs> So pretty cool. So that is the, the belly band. Here's a closer look at the artwork. And we have this very nice painted look on the cover. And I believe, let's see. So that this image is from the lineup. And it's interesting to note that uh, Criterion on the Criterion channel had a Columbia Noir a set of films on the channel. I don't know if it's still there. Um, and I remember thinking as soon as I saw that, what an amazing set it would make for a Criterion to put out uh, those titles. And I was really happy to see that uh, Indicator picked up that project and, and that they're making that happen. I think in terms of box sets, there's just no one better than Indicator. So I was really happy to see that they were the ones to pick that up and just the absolute quality that we have uh, with these Columbia Noir titles. So looking at the side here, here's the contents of the box, and then we have the names of the films on the top as well. Of course, we have technical information on the bottom, and then the back of the box here. If you wanna take a look, there is obviously a lot of supplements here to get into. And in terms of the films, uh, now this is a Region B locked set, so that is something to be aware of. Right here you can see the Region B um, icon. Now, it, what I always recommend is using a region-free Blu-ray player. Those are widely available. I use a Sony BDP S3700. I was able to acquire that player on Amazon um, from a seller called 220-Electronics, and I've been very happy with that player, so I'm able to play uh, any discs that I want. Of course, the 4K format is just uh, is, is all region-free, so you're not gonna have an issue there, but in terms of Blu-rays, uh, you will need a region-free free player if you're in the States uh, with sets like this, but that'll will just allow you to play any discs you want. So that's definitely the way to go. But uh, here we have the films with their run times. Uh, so we have Escape in the Fog from 1945. That is 63 minutes. All of these are in black and white. Uh, the Undercover Man from 1949, 85 minutes. Drive a Crooked Road, 1954, uh, 83 minutes. Five Against the House, 1955, 84 minutes. The Garment Jungle, 1957, 88 minutes. And the lineup from 1958 coming in at a runtime of 87 minutes. All right, so again, here's our contents. Let's go ahead and 
get to that. So we'll go ahead and set aside our awesome box. And you can see these are just really thick, uh, hard bound boxes. They're such high quality. It's really something that when you have it in hand, you realize how great the quality is. All right, so first up, we have Escape in the Fog, and I love, we get the original poster art here, just such high quality images on here. And then you do get, of course, the name of the film on the spine. And then here are the special features for this film. Slipping silently out of the fog came murder. All right, we won't go over the runtime. We've already done that. All right, so here, is the disc art and then here you see we have just again just a beautiful presentation on the inside i love that we get the image over here and then also the image behind the disc which here kind of matches up uh, with the disc art um, just really wonderful presentation all right so that's escape in the fog next up we have Glenn Ford, gosh, I love Glenn Ford. Um, such a, a staple in uh, film noir titles. Um, I think the first title that I saw with him was uh, Human Desire, which was really, really great. So another uh, recommendation if you want a, a great film. Um, and this is The Undercover Man. Uh, great artwork here on the cover. Here is the back, so you can look at the extra features if you'd like. And going to the inside, we have the disc art. And then here we have the art on the inside. Really cool image that they chose to use here on the left-hand side. All right, so that's the undercover man. Next is Drive a Crooked Road with Mickey Rooney. This is a great film, um, also starring Diane Foster. Uh, this is one that I saw on the Criterion channel and it was immediately one that I, I wanted to own and I'm so happy to be able to do so now. Um, so Drive a Crooked Road, let's take a look at the special features here. She needed the money and I needed her. It's actually a really sad story, but just great performances. All right, and here is your disc art and the inside art. Really looking forward to watching this one again. All right, so drive a crooked road. Next we have Five Against the House. All right, and then on the back, they hit the jackpot in the world's richest gambling house. There's the extra features. And the disc art. Some more, more great artwork there. All right, up next we have The Garment Jungle. And on the back here, the movie that throws the acid right back in the gangsters' faces. So I see now where they get their uh, quote from the side of the belly band there. All right, so great extra features there as well. There is the disc art, and then the interior art. Really cool image there on the left-hand side. Actually, both are really awesome. All right, and the last film here is the lineup. So this is the image, the image on the cover they took from this film. So really cool artwork here. This is another one that I saw on uh, the Criterion channel and just absolutely loved it. There's really not many, uh, in fact, there's not 
a noir title that I've watched that I haven't enjoyed on some level. Too big, too hot for TV. The manhunt they had to put on the giant-sized movie theater screen. All right, a list of the special features. The disc art. And then our interior art. All right, that is the lineup. So that concludes the films in the set. Now what we are greeted with is a really great uh, perfect bound book here. And let's see, so this comes in at 117 pages. Some really great black and white art. You've got the name of the set there on the spine with indicator. And then the art continues on the back. There's the great Glenn Ford. And yeah, so over 100 pages, almost 120 page book here. And it's just going to have great art, great essays. I mean, it's, in my opinion, it's, it's impossible to ask Indicator to do a better job. I know I'm I sound like such a fanboy the way I talk about Indicator, but it really, they, they just check all of the boxes for me on what I would like out of a out of a collector set. So here we have some notes about the presentations, thanks and acknowledgements, and then again, the art. I love that that art continues, so it's kind of a, I'm not gonna be able to get really the, kind of see the whole image there. Really cool image that they chose for the book. All right, so that concludes the Columbia Noir number one set. So as you can see, just an absolutely packed set here. Wonderful presentation and yeah, really leaves, leaves the buyer just, <laughs> at least for me, just in absolute awe what they were able to present here. Um, yeah, not much more to say. This is uh, very much worth your, your money uh, to pick this set up. Now remember again that this is limited to 6,000 copies. So if this is a set that you're wanting, it's always better to buy sooner rather than later. Um, some of these do stay in stock for a while, um, but in my opinion with something this nice, it's uh, not something that you wanna take a chance with leaving until later um you know obviously you can see what you get here and and the value that uh that indicator gives you in these sets so keep that in mind if this is something that you're, that you're interested in but um an absolute absolute thumbs up from cartoon fortress on this one and uh, yeah just really impressed with indicator uh this looks to be one of the best sets that they've ever released all right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this video, for taking time out of your day to watch this. I wanted to make note of one other thing. The Columbia Noir number two set has actually already been announced. It's coming this February. I've already got the pre-order in for that, so we'll have you covered here on the Cartoon Fortress channel for that release as well. Let me know in the comments down below if these are sets that you're looking to pick up. Let me know what your favorite film is in these collections if you've already watched through those titles. I'm really excited with what Indicator has presented here and I'm definitely looking forward to that second set as well and for them to continue this series um, for as long as they can, however many titles there are that they have licensed out. So stay tuned for more coverage on these sets in the future. And as I said before, if you're new to this channel, Definitely hit that subscribe button if this is a video that you found entertaining or helpful in any way. Also hit the like button and lastly the bell icon. That will of course notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until next time, I am your host David, signing off with Cartoon Fortress and I hope you have an awesome day.